Uh, hey everybody, <laughs> Grimer here, coming at you once again from Planet Crafter, from the planet B O O B L three five S. Boobless. Uh, we are the only guy here. This is a lonely place here on this uh, on this uh, island, on this well island in space. But I've got some things I want to get done today, though, because I need to explore more. Apparently, I can make a tier five backpack now. Um, Take it, I make that at the advanced crafting station. Yep, right there. Super alloy and titanium. Three of them. I think I can do that because I grabbed a bunch of that lately. Let's do that for sure. Let's grab the titanium. Uh, and then let's take the backpack off. And we can go over here and turn it into a tier 5. Put that back on. Look at all that space I have now. Holy cow. Um, there's some things I want to do. One, I, was, I said I wanted to get the fourth heat generator up and running. And I, I still want to do that. So let's uh, go ahead and grab this. I believe it is. How do I do? How do I play this game? Uh, it's aluminum, titanium, and silicon. Okay, so ti uh, aluminum, titanium, and silicon are what I need. And let's go ahead and make another one of these guys, and we'll fill this room up completely. Ooh, look at that! Now, I would seal that off, but I actually want to get like eight of them. I want to get this whole area filled up, but I don't have enough iridium to do that yet. Plus, we learned last episode that rockets are absolutely incredible. Uh, because it changed the heat from 140 something to 1,040 something, um, which was cool. <laughs> so I wonder if I fire another one off there if I'll just move the decimal over again. But it did, of course, rain a whole bunch of terrible things down on us, you know, like uh, uranium uh, things on us. But that's okay because that gave us a whole bunch of uranium now, and uh, we can actually do some stuff with this. Uh, so let's go ahead and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go ahead and make uh, ourselves another uranium rod. And I can probably make uh, another reactor if I need to. Three super alloy, though. That's kind of a thing. Maybe I'll hold off on that unless I absolutely need to. I think it's raining outside. That's something it does now on this planet. It rains. It didn't do that before. Before it just sucked. Um, and now we're getting the lakes coming in now. Look at this. We're getting lakes. We're getting actual standing water. It's crazy. This planet's changing. I got my grass growing over here. The hum of the reactors going in my face right there. I got water being collected. Let's just drink that and top ourselves off. All right, so I think in today's episode, though, I need to get out and do a little bit more exploring, but I do want to go check that wreck over there. I think it's kind of an important thing to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm just going to grab the resources on the way. We're going to grab the resources to build ourselves a shelter over there. And uh, I'm just going to grab it along the way. We're going to need two of these things. Or one of the... Uh, uh, we're going to need three of those. So there's the second titanium. And we're going to need uh, one of these at least. We're going to need uh, some more iron, though, for sure. But yeah, I'll find some along the way, I'm sure. Algae generator. Okay. Just kind of rocketing my way out here, collecting what resources I need to create a little, uh, little, little base over here. And uh, apparently an LG generator is something that I can now make. I think I'm going to need one of these things to create a crafting station out there. Uh, I'm just grabbing a bunch of iron because that's always useful. All right, let's get out. Let's hurry up on over there now. Get near this wreck. An LG generator is pretty nifty. Um, I don't really know what it does. It's got to be a biomass thing uh, because that's the things I'm unlocking now. That's like my next tier. There's so much space out here. I almost want to circle the canyon here along the edge and see if there's any caves or something that I might miss. But let's first get over here to this wreck and get ourselves a little safe house. Ooh, there's an engine that I can't go in. Okay. But alright, let's get ourselves a little place to call home here. There we go. Got it. Alright, now let's get ourselves a storage locker. I'm one iron short. A storage locker. Is that fine iron? There we go. All right, now I know this is a desert, but is there absolutely any ice out here? There might not be actually, because so I'd get a little couple bits of ice just to protect myself. But I, all right, I guess I'll just have to go fast. All right, so we got to get in here then and see what kind of goods. Is there anything up here on the bridge? This was a big ship. Oh, this is going to take a while to get through, isn't it? Okay, I don't see anything up there. Okay, let's get the flashlight on here. This is going to take a while. Okay, we're going to the left. Oh, there's multiple levels. Oof, this one's going to be brutal. All right, so I'm climbing down. Um, boy, it's hard to see in here, too, obviously. It's really dark. Oh, my God, there's so many places to go. 
I'm definitely gonna die in here. All right, let's, let's deconstruct this. There's a toilet, let's not forget that. All right, this is a dead end. What do we got in here? A bunch of iron, that's actually greatly appreciated. Ooh, a bioplastic nugget? Okay, it's the first time I've seen of those, so that's probably valuable. Um, I don't see anything else in here, not this way at least. Inventory's already pretty full. This is the way out right here, I gotta remember that. Is there any, anything here? Okay, let's check down here a little bit. I get too carried away though, because otherwise I won't be able to get back in time. There are some stuff here. Or there are some. There is some stuff here. I, I speak a de English. All right, let's grab all this out of there and grab all that out of there as much as I can carry. All right, so we got our first load of uh, of loot to go uh, take back. Um, I'm gonna have to try to really flex my short-term memory here and figure out how to get in and out of this place. All right, but we did find a bunch of iron, so I, I have a feeling this is a huge ship. We're actually gonna have to have a few storage chests because um, this is gonna take a while. I can't believe there's nothing on the bridge. I guess if there was any valuables on the bridge, it would have been blown out in the crash, so. Um, let's see, that's totally the wrong way. I mean, I will get that way, but I need to get over here because there's still some stuff down here, right back this way, that I need to get. Yep, let's go, now we go this way. Okay, we're going to the right this time. Struck that, that's in the way. Looks like there's a path to the left. Let's go that way first. Oh my god, I'm gonna get so turned around. Is there nothing here? This is totally a dead end. Let's see, I still got plenty of inventory space. Doing all right on oxygen. Let's see what's in here. Bunch of stuff. All good things. Break that down. Here's a, the vegetube things or whatever. Some of the stuff I'm actually recognizing. Oh, there's another ladder, there's a ladder going up. can't actually climb it though so I can rock it up here though oh wow okay all right this should have a blueprint in it right yep I'm gonna get so lost in here I already am having trouble remembering where how I got in here all right I don't think there's anything else in here that I can grab all right let's start working my way back actually I think it is just back here just to dump my inventory, get a breath of fresh air so I don't panic and hyperventilate. Yeah, here we go. We're good. Whew. That is a really big ship, and I my memory sucks. So I'm, <laughs> I'm having a hard time remembering where to go. Hydration's still pretty bad, but I do have some water that I did find in here, so that's not the end of the world. All right, so let's go straight through here. And we turn left, and we climbed up this already. So let's check back here. Ooh, what's this? Seed of Nola. Nolna? 300% oxygen, that's awesome. See that something else. 400% oxygen, it's even better. Looks like that's all that's there, though. Not gonna complain, pretty good stuff. This just led to nowhere. Did I, did I search everything now? Did I find it all? Whoa, okay. I just, I saw it said deconstruct wrecked. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Good. Fat loot, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm here. Tear those things down. Anything in the cabinets themselves? I don't see it. I got a lot of stuff there. Holy cow. A bunch of seeds. There's also mushroom seeds I'm getting too, so I'm going to have to explore and see what those things do. Alright, nope. I think that's it. I think we got everything. Yep, I think we found everything. Alright, let's get out of here. This this was a huge wreck. Didn't find one of those fusion cores in that one, though. That's kind of interesting. So we can break that down because that was not needed. All right, so now we got to try to figure out what we're taking. Okay, I got a tree seed in there. Interesting. I've never seen one of those yet. So I'll take it back. These things are all pretty high tiered oxygen producers. So I'll take them back. I don't need any of the seeds right now. Hydration getting low. Let's go ahead and drink that. Do I have any food in here? I do. There's some right there. Let's go ahead and eat that. Top off our vitals just a wee bit. This plastic. Oh, actually, let's take this microchip and... What is it that I need to admit, build this thing? Uh, silicon. I need a piece of silicon. Is there one? They're right there. Perfect. All right. Let me learn some stuff. Let me play some Minecraft here. GPS satellite tier one. Okay. All right. Let's take all the super alloy for sure. I'm going to have to take a couple trips to get all the way out here. It's going to take a while, but I think it'll be worth it. Pretty sure it'll be worth it. All right. I am mining iridium, so I'm going to take the uh, uranium right now, actually. Because I can always get more iridium from the mines. So as far as top priority, that's definitely a higher one. I'm also mining aluminum. 
I mean, I am going to come out and grab all the stuff anyway, so I can just grab whatever right now. All right, now we got to get back to the base, which I think is over there through all that fogginess. I really do want to, like, hug the walls on this place, though, and see if there's any caves in any of it. Because it, there's just so much to explore right there that there's got to be something. I mean, this can't be the only cave with, uh, with supplies in it. There's got to be more out there. All right, that's what we like to call quite a load of stuff. Actually, I got some really good stuff on that trip. Uh, there is still a bunch back there. These plastic little nuggets I don't really know what to do with. Just chuck them in there for right now. Um, but yeah, I got a lot of good stuff there. I got a lot of iridium also now, so I can probably create some more rockets, which is probably a good idea. Plus, I got this super alloy now. Another piece of sulfur I don't know what to do with there. Uh, and then these plants can go upstairs. I do have to kind of swap out some of these things. What do you do? 600, 200, you can be swapped out with that one. That's, uh, that's a good one. <laughs> that one, you can be swapped out with that one. Does this plant oxygen multiplier? Can I put that in here? No. Okay, so it's, trees are different. Okay, I'll have to figure out what to do with that. Put that in there. So I got 200 and, uh, and a 150 that I can put in one of these things, which it looks like these are all 200 already. All right, those are as good as they can be. Let's go ahead and chuck that in there. I don't know what to do with that tree seed yet. I'll figure that out uh, a little bit later. Let's quick do a run and see how our mines are doing, our drills are doing, because I want to get more supplies, and that's a great way to do it. We're about to break 7 million uh, terror units uh, on here. This is completely full, or almost completely full. Let's grab all that. A couple pieces of aluminum only. Go ahead and bring this back, and we'll stash it, and then we'll hit up the iridium mine also and stash that. Then maybe we'll take another trip out there and grab another load of stuff. Maybe we'll hug the cliff edge, I think, on the way out there. Top off our vitals and stuff, and we'll hug the cliff edge, we'll hug uh, the left, we'll stick to the iridium mine. Hug that wall, and see if we can find any other hidden little caves or whatever. Actually, I've got too much iron. Um, that's not a bad thing, usually. I'll take some stuff with me, so that if I do find something interesting, I can always plop down a, a, another little base. Um, although, I'll probably, you know what, I'll probably have plenty in the, uh, in the mine, in the iridium mine, too, so... Maybe I just gotta make another locker for iron. Back in the day, I did actually say that I wanted to put up a wall right here, like so. And then that way, this will be the entrance to my storage area and I could actually get away then with putting down more lockers here. I might have to shift those other ones though, but for these ones, right there, and we'll just do this one as iron as well. And that way, well, now, now I don't have too much, but I'll have to move these things over, but I'll do that a little bit later. All right, so let's go check the iridium mine real fast. Can I go up and over? Up and over my greenhouse area there. Still the coolest part in this area is the dust coming off of there. This whole area is really well designed. I love it. All right, so that's completely full, so I definitely got to take that out of there. I'm going to head on back, dump the stuff, and then head out again. Like I said, I'm going to hug... The cliff wall right here and explore because look how big and vast that desert is over there i refuse to believe that there's nothing out there okay so before we head out i'm going to top off our vitals i, I suppose my beans are probably done growing oh yeah there we go let's go ahead and num, 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 num that down i always end up with an extra bean so that's good because that's that's actually a surplus of food that's kind of what i want let's drink that actually you know what i can probably just grab them out of here so this can continue to collect more so when i need to make a bunch of nuclear reactors you know i can always just get more water i'll have water on hand all right and then let's get going i'll collect resources along the way again to create a safe place to breathe in and stuff but let's uh let's try to get moving here so here's the iridium mine and that, let's grab that iron there and i'm going to just follow this cliff edge until we get to the front of that ship and then i'll maybe i'll book it straight over to it so we can go grab more resources See if there's any other way I can get into this cliff. It's just such a vast desert, I refuse to believe. What's this right here? Aha! Uh -huh. See, there is a way around. Whoa. Everything just turned yellow over here. I wonder if that's toxic. I, well, I'm in a visor, I guess. So I guess, whoa. Whoa! Okay, that's awesome. Whoa! It's like a waterfall of dust. That's incredible. 
I could probably I could probably get to the top of that, I'm thinking. What do we got in here? More stuff? I'll take it. Okay, so this part right here is all like yellow. There's aluminum here. <laughs> There's some iron here. There's sulfur here. Interesting. Okay, so I bet you this is where you can mine sulfur. Now let's grab all that stuff. I also am going to need to quickly pop down this because I am running low on oxygen. Interesting. I should have made a beak. What's this? Ooh. That's a blue crystal. This looks like osmium. There's got to be something. Yeah, right here. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. I will throw whatever on the ground I have to to collect more of this stuff because I'm really low on this. I can create more mines of this. I wonder if I can create an osmium mine in here. Might be worth checking out. Although, ore extractor. Maybe. I mean, maybe. Okay, I'm going to bypass the sulfur because I have a lot of that and I don't even know what it's used for. Some more in there. This melts at 5UK. Oh, this is... Is this the other side of that cave? Like, uh, where the wreck was kind of near the beginning? The beginning valley? I bet you it is. I made it to the other side. Look at that. Hacks. I, I explored farther around. Ha <laughs> ha! Who cares if the ice isn't melted? Alright, so this ice, though, what, what does this melt at? 5UK also. Okay, I'm not going that way until that's melted. But I did manage to collect uh, a fair amount more of cobalt. I can actually make three more mines if I want to. Yeah, this is definitely the sulfur area for sure. What's that? I see something right there. Looks like it's another cave. Oh! This is the iridium. Iridium mine. It circled back. Well, that's handy because I kind of need to run back. My inventory is just completely full. So I did find something. I didn't get a, I didn't accomplish what I wanted to, though. That's actually doing pretty good there, collecting a lot of stuff. I'll come back and grab that in a little bit. I didn't accomplish what I wanted to, though. I mean, I was trying to actually get stuff out of the storage area where that wreck is, and I got wildly distracted, as I tend to. But I did find some really cool stuff, and I got a lot more cobalt. So this is why you explore. This is why you explore, people. Okay, I'm starting to get a lot of cobalt, so I think what would be a good idea is if I actually made a... Not cobalt, um... Osmium, if I made an actual thing for this. Alright, so what if I brought enough material to make another ore extractor and saw if I could actually just mine osmium out of that mine completely? It's kind of worth, I think, checking out because if I can, then I can be really rolling in the resources. I can create multiple uh, ore sites as long as I keep providing it with... I, I, I gotta find one for uranium so that I can uh, create uh, multiple reactors. Uh, I need aluminum and super alloy and a rod, an uh, iridium rod. All right, we're good to go. Let's get back out there and uh, see if I can't build a mine inside of that uh, that osmium place. I wonder if it'd be easier if I just went up there because although the ice isn't melted, that was still the osmium uh, cave, wasn't it? Ah, I'll try this way. I'll try this way first. And if it doesn't work, then I can always just kind of keep exploring, at least. Real quick, actually, let me just let me just pop this bad boy down here. Does this mine for sulfur? It does. Okay, good to know. I don't, I don't really need sulfur, as far as I know. I probably will in the future, but for right now, I don't. So I'm not going to worry about it. But let's go in here and see if this mines for osmium. No, it doesn't. Okay. This is mines for iron. Interesting. So maybe I can't mine osmium? That's kind of interesting. I don't really... I, I'll probably need sulfur in the future, so I'll probably have to set up a mine out here. But for right now, I have plenty of sulfur, and I don't know what to do with it, so I'm not going to worry about collecting it right now. Let's see if I can't get back, because I have some inventory space. Let's see if I can't get back to the wreck that's over here. I do want to explore that, that sand waterfall, because that looks amazing. Let's see if I can't explore this wreck back here. And then, uh, or get back to this wreck, and then we'll grab the resources and head back to base. Uh, probably work on terraforming a little bit better, because it is, it's going up, it's 8.6 million right now, 8.62 million, so we're actually really going, I'm going to keep circling this edge here, until I get at least in front of this, to see if there's anything else hidden on this cliff edge. I'm going to pr probably do the whole valley until I find, uh, something, 
something something dark side. What is this? Got red all of a sudden. Whoa, got foggy all of a sudden. Super alloy. Uh, yes, please. Uh, more su- hey, mm. Stuff's all over the ground here. Um, hold on one second. Okay, no, I was gonna say, do I get super alloy for mining here? That'd be incredible. Well, I can grab as much of this as I can hold, at least. I'm not gonna be able to ever clear out that one uh, wreck back there, because I'm gonna be too busy grabbing so much stuff. Oh, oxygen level low. Um, put that right there. Put that right there. Get some oxygen. Whew, that was close. Kind of forgot about, you know, breathing. All right, so, I mean, it looks like this is where Super Alloy is. Yeah, it's all over the place here. Literally scads of it. Um, I uh, can't hold any more, though. Let's put that in there. Let's grab that instead. Yeah, there's there's loads of it here. So all right, let's let's uh, let's get back then. Let's get back to base and dump the stuff off. I have to remember this cave is here though, because the, if I need super alloy, I can come there. It looks like. Oh, there's so much stuff. Look at that. There's so, it's like a whole planet I got to explore. You know, I'm gonna actually leave a little, because this place right here looks interesting. I want to sort. I want to loot the rest of this and get all the alloy out of there. Uh, so I'm gonna leave a little base here actually. Because I'm going to just be hightailing at home anyway. Alright, I'll leave this here and then uh, I'll come back here later on and I'll loot out all the uh, super alloy out of this. But for right now, actually I got some room right now. Let's go back in here and grab what I can. Okay, so I, I just got an achievement called a door. This kind of looks like a door, doesn't it? Can I open it? I don't know what that is. Kind of frightens me, actually, a little bit, so I'm just going to walk away from it. Uh, my inventory is completely full. There's still some super ore or super alloy in here, but I've got to get out of here because my inventory is full. All right, back at the base here. we got some inventory to sort out, that's for sure. But we do have a truckload of stuff now. we got a bunch of super alloy, which is awesome, man. That cave was chock full of that. Uh, I do have to move all of this stuff over to make it look pretty, but, again, I'll worry about that later. Um, I've just got to finish sorting out all this stuff, and then I think we're going to do, one, like, one more sweep of our, our drills and get whatever they dug up, and then, um, I might call our quits for this episode. We've done a, quite a bit of exploring in this one, and that's kind of crazy because, like, I found a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, the, the Osmium can go in here on its own. Uh, put this back. I do want to actually create another drill. I guess I could start mining for sulfur, um, but I don't, like I said, without not, without really knowing what I need it for, I'm not really too... Anxious to do that. Get more atmosphere pumping out here. Okay, everything's all pumping up maximum oxygen now, so I can put all the rest in there. Let's check our stats here and see what we're doing. We're at 13% of the way to lakes, which is pretty nifty. Um, it looks like pressure could use a hand. So, I was going to go check our... Let's go check our drills real fast, get all this stuff, and then we might have some fun trying to help out pressure a little bit. Aluminum, how are you doing? Doing well, I see. All right, let's go ahead and grab all that. On the way out here, I did actually happen to notice that there was another uranium meteorite crash site that I missed from when they were crashing all over the place before, and it's right down here. Look at that, uranium everywhere. Oh, well, hello, water. So water's starting to form there, too. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so I said this looked kind of like a river. It looks like it might actually be one. All right, I'm completely full of on aluminum, too. That's pretty awesome. I'll just throw it in here for right now because I got to go grab the other stuff. Might be using some of that here in just a little bit. I'm starting to get so much resources now stockpiled up that I, I'm overflowing with them, which means it's time for me to stop collecting them and start building something. Alright, grab everything out of there. That was actually quite a load of stuff, too. Only a couple pieces of iridium, though. I kind of need more than that, though. If I'm going to create more heat generators and stuff, I need it to be doing a little bit better. I guess I could double up. I could put another mine in there, you know? That would probably generate more faster. Um, but I'm a patient man. I got nowhere to go. I'm sucking on this planet anyway. So I might as well just wait. 
But in the meantime, I might as well actually start thinking about what else I can build with all these resources now. Uh, let's check the power level real quick. 87, okay, so it is, I should actually get more food growers going. I think that'd be a good thing to focus on initially too, uh, because, uh, although I'm surviving just fine with just the two that I have, I can always do better. Go ahead and grab our beans real quick. That's not a metaphor. Let's do this heat thing, for example. Let's see how many of these things I can make. Um, let's transfer all of that into this, and let's see how many of these things I can actually make. So I'm going to turn them all into rods for what I got right now. I'm getting more of this stuff anyway. So that's uh, three of them. So that's four rods. I think that's enough. That's enough, right? Oh, that's actually more than enough. All right. So let's see. I want to make uh, three or four more of these things. So I need four silicon, four titanium, and four aluminum. Three, four. There we go. All right. So let's make some more heaters here. Let's put this one in the back corner just like so. This one right there next to it. Giving the heat a good old boost. We're actually doubling it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that doubled it. Okay, so it was at 1,000-some only. Now it's at 2,000-some. Uh, and then I can actually seal this off. I'm done with that part. I don't need to go back in there. I don't think ever. I'll probably need you to break the things down, but I'll worry about that when the time comes. I think I can just create like a... Uh, there you go. Bam. Doesn't that look so cool? Look at that. It's like a facility. Awesome, okay, so heat is good. Heat is doing fantastic. We're actually 5.223 uh, now, UK, which it needed five to start melting that other ice, so we're already melting that stuff, we're doing good. Pressure is not doing good. Biomass is not doing good. Biomass, hold on, there was something else I unlocked recently, wasn't it? The algae something? Algae something. Eggplant, right there, so I do need it for stuff. Crap, am I growing eggplant? I don't think I'm growing eggplant at all. Um, Eggplant. Let's take this out. Sorry, beans. You're getting replaced real quick because I just harvested you. There we go. Let's grow a couple eggplants so I can get a couple of those things going. Um, I do need to make more food collectors, food growers. Okay, aluminum, iron, and water bottle. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's go up there and make these things. There we go. There's another one right there. Um, I do want to actually like pretty this up, but look kind of like what I did for the air things. So want to make it look good. It's all about the aesthetics. Let's just grab a bunch of that and a bunch of that. All right, so I think I need one piece of titanium too because I, I want to put the ceiling on this. All right, so let's change that background wall make it look pretty. Change that background wall make it look pretty. You know, let's just let's just open this place up. It's all about the aesthetics. You know, let's get some uh, let's get some sights in here so I can actually look around and see stuff. All right, now this yeah that takes titanium. I knew that. There you go. I knew I, I, knew I forgot something. It's like that. Bam! We can even see our radar dish spinning around up there. Opening this place up. No longer as claustrophobic. Alright, so then... More food stuff we can grow here. Okay, we need uh, we need uh, another nuclear reactor. More food stuff we can grow there. And right here, we're, we're making a huge farm. Alright, let's see the beans down here. And then let's do the squash, and then the squash. Actually, I have, I have mushrooms, don't I? I thought I had mushrooms someplace. I bet you they're out at the wreck. All right, I'll leave one open. Squash right there, and then let's do let's do another eggplant right here, and then I'll go get the mushrooms, I guess. Uh, but first, before I do that, I gotta get my power going, because right now I'm not doing a damn thing on this planet, because power is completely out. Let there be power! There we go. Doubled up our nuclear reactors. Generate more power now than ever. Okay, so we got food growing like crazy now. We got our heat generating like crazy now. Pressure is in need of some love. Okay, so now pressure, I believe, we can launch a rocket that will generate iridium um, meteorites. Now, I don't really need iridium, but I do need the pressure increase. So we also have this global GPS satellite that I have to launch provides uh, geolocation to the mapping screen which i haven't even built yet all right so the nope this one right here pressure we need to increase the pressure so we need three silicon a rocket engine and two super alloy let's go get those things and let's uh, try to bump the pressure up a little bit here on this planet uh two of those was it i think so and then i need the silicon i think was the only thing i needed then so we should be able to make this rocket now and we're probably going to get crapped on by iridium. It's going to probably happen. 
Oh, cobalt. Wait, no, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong one. No, this is it right here. Pressure. That's the one I want. Pressure. Iridium asteroid. Yes. Sweet. Awesome. All right, let's uh, let's uh, launch that bad boy. Look at it go. Let's get a screenshot. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so what does that do to my pressure? Was that like a hundred and some? It's now at a thousand eighty-eight. That's more like it. I'm just gonna keep launching rockets as soon as I'm able to actually. Get, let's see, uranium super ore. Uranium is the one thing I don't have a lot of. But if I actually summon more uranium asteroids, I could actually just keep launching rockets. We could make the terraforming thing get nuts. That one's coming kind of close. Ooh. Ooh, okay, big hit there. Yeah, so here's some more iridium. That one's getting close. Whoa! That was nuts. That was crazy. It's raining rocks. Now, I don't super badly need this, but it's the pressure increase that I was interested in. Because that is going to be helpful for terraforming. It's going to speed up the process big time. In fact, I really just want to fire a couple rockets off repeatedly. I don't actually know why I don't. Oh, yeah, it's the, it's the uh, uranium. So if I fire the rockets off, that actually draw uranium uh, meteorites to me a couple of times, then maybe I can uh, get enough uranium to uh, to fire off rockets of the other type to really make this terraforming thing go from uh, pretty fast or pretty steadily to just stupid. Just stupid. It's tempting to do, but I'm going to collect what I can here. This water is actually kind of filling up pretty nicely. We're going to go underwater. Not like it matters, because I mean, I, I can't breathe the atmosphere anyway, so... But I can't grab this? What? I bet you I have to be underwater. I bet you they haven't figured out the above water, underwater thing yet. So, okay, I'll have to grab those later. One right here. Yeah, see, underwater, no problem. All right, so it looks like a lot of those things, we're going to have to wait for the lake to fill up to even be able to grab them. That's all right. I'm a patient man. Plus, I don't really need the iridium that bad, and I also got quite a bit of it just already just doing this. So, yeah, the bioformation is going great, uh, the, or the terraforming is going great. The lakes are forming now. They're already almost at 20%. Uh, so yeah, I think rockets are the way to go. Once my eggplants grow up, I'm going to be able to make these, the algae generators. There's there's bioplastic nuggets right there. Um, so I'll be able to make those and then uh, place on a water surface. Oh, I have to wait for the water to grow in. <laughs> I was just going to make, I guess it makes sense, it's algae, right? Okay, so I'll have to do that uh, once the lakes have formed completely. Or maybe I'll just wait until they form quite a bit. Or something. Let me grab a quick bite to eat here and top off my vitals. But I think I'm going to wrap this episode up. This has been a crazy adventure. A lot of exploring. A lot of... We explored, what, that wreck over there? We we found a cave with a bunch of super alloy in it. We, uh, we launched another rocket. Our mines are doing great. We're really kicking some butt. We built three more nuclear reactors. A lot of stuff happened in this episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to smash that like button. I'm getting squirted right in the crotch. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Please be sure to smash that like button if you did enjoy it. And thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and your holes to this episode. If I turn with this thing, it looks like I'm peeing all over the grass. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be back here on planet B00BL35S next week. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.